You see you, baby. All right, I'm Jesus Lomeli with the Urban Conservation Unit. And today we're going to talk a little bit about soil moisture sensor technology. Soil moisture sensors are smart. One moment, please. This is Jesus speaking. Mr. Lomeli. This is he. This is the 80s calling. We want our spaghetti based technology back. Some of the issues with some soil moisture sensors is all the wiring that's involved with it and also how hard it is to bury the sensor in the right location. You have obstacles like sidewalks, walkways, and driveways which make it very difficult to put it in the right spot. But now we live in a wireless world, so let's take a look at a wireless soil moisture sensor. This is one type of a wireless soil moisture sensor. It has two components. The receiver connects to the rain sensor ports on your digital timer. If you still have a mechanical timer like this one, we know we can't put a, a soil moisture sensor on this, but if you're interested, the Miami-Dade County offers rebates to replace them with a digital one, which will allow you then to put in a soil moisture sensor. The sensor component goes in the sunniest, driest area of your landscape. It can go up to 500 feet from your timer and receiver. Once in place, follow the manufacturer's instructions for calibrating the sensor correctly. From then on, it will communicate wirelessly with your receiver to prevent any unnecessary irrigation based on the soil moisture level. Soil moisture sensors have been shown to reduce water use by more than 70%, helping us not only to conserve water, but to have a healthier landscape free from diseases. Excuse me, one second. This is you speaking. Well, let me tell you something about my ponytail, man. What are you talking about my ponytail like that? <laughs> 